It's really difficult to describe what we do. From the outside, sometimes it looks like a PlayStation game. Riders are sat on a motorcycle and we're turning the handlebars. But in reality, we're riding a, you know, a 220 plus horsepower motorcycle, 170 kilos accelerating that from 50, 60 miles per hour in the slowest corner to 210 miles an hour in the fastest straight. A beautiful maneuver from Jonathan Ray to recover the lead. In the search for the perfect lap, every single lap within tenths of a second is, is really tough. You know, it's a real athlete sport. You know, everyone here in the World Championship is incredibly fit. It really is man and machine. The rider has such a big influence on the bike, but you also need the bike to be working perfectly well. My father was a racer, successful one at that. My first holidays weren't to the, the beach, they were to racetracks. I was dragged along to watch my dad race and it was infectious. Very soon after that, I just wanted to, to ride a motorbike. When I started road racing in 2003, actually, it came very natural. I loved the search for the perfect lap. Step by step, my, my career improved. I was in the World Championship within five years, and um, you know, been here ever since, so it's been a great journey. A new prince is born. Jonathan Ray takes his first victory of, I'm sure, very, very many. I think I was the only three times winner. Uh, then I won it six times in a row. I know how hard it is to win. Uh, it doesn't get easier with more and more competition on the grid. Come back to your box and then press conference so. Okay. Okay. Good luck. You see, you don't see this part at home where you're just told constantly what to do, eh? After winning a world championship. Winning a title is tough, but winning again is even tougher. So that's a great challenge we have in front of us and one that I'm really excited about. Brilliant stuff and he absolutely loves that. Being remembered as someone that gave their 100%, that had an impact in the sport, uh, that grew motorcycling in my country, Northern Ireland. Being remembered as a winner would be um, really nice. On the way next, Dida Dochrot and her total dominance of women's wheelchair tennis. <laughs>